Hey, the Master Domain Frame has just started this week on September 14th, and that was amazing. There are a lot of new things for us to learn, and there is a lot of uh, new stuff in there. So let's take a look on the level one and what's beyond these challenges. So what we are going to face there. So before we see what you can expect, what you're gonna face in this year edition, let's see what is beyond the challenges, right? So if you participate in another edition, you probably noticed that the web page is a bit different from what you, you have in the other years, right? So this year, this is uh, keeping all your progress and you have the feeling you can see if you have completed a certain level or not. And to access that, you are using an extra service, you are using ID and ID to get authenticated. And to, to know that you have completed a challenge, that something has to be validating, that has to be checking uh, your progress on the mainframe. So we have also other APIs that are there just for that. So they are running on IBM Cloud and checking everything that's being done on the mainframe. So after you see, after you get acceptance uh, from this API, it's marking on the web platform that you have completed the challenge. And with all that together, we are able to issue the badges for you. So this is what is bringing this new experience for you. Let's take a look on the challenges. Hey, so this is how the challenges are grouped for this master the mainframe. You have three different levels that will prepare you to the mainframe environment. First, we're gonna see the level one. On the level one, you're gonna get an introduction about the mainframe. You, you're gonna know what the mainframe is, how to get connected, how you get your credentials to access the mainframe, and then you are ready to start learning about it. Uh, to get it started on the level two, you're gonna learn about data sets, how the files are organized in the mainframe, how you can create a script to call programs and deal with data sets. So this is what we call a JCL. So you are learning a, a bit about JCL and also seeing that inside of the mainframe, inside of the ZOS, you have a Unix environment. So you are going to learn about USS. You're gonna see a, a bit about Python and how you can use Z Open Automation Utilities uh, to create scripts interact uh, through Python to your mainframe. And there is a bonus challenge here about Linux. You can also play with Linux and Z in our community cloud. So after that, you get the basics, you are ready to go to the level three. On the level three, we also have the basics on some programming language, some traditional programming languages. So you're gonna see about Rex, you're gonna see about Cobol, and also you're gonna see about some new projects that are on the ZOS, Zoe and Ansible, so open source projects that uh, give us a totally new experience and all of that are preparing you to the grand challenge where you are going to build something really cool, I'm pretty sure. So now it's time for fun. So let's access the masterdomainframe.com. Well, this is the new page. I think this is a really amazing. What do you think? Just comment out here what do you think about the new design about the master domain frame. So let's get started. I will click here. And the first page you're gonna get is where you get your IBM ID. So what you need to do is fill out your email, your first name, and your last name. So it will ask you for a password too. And then you can select your country and click next. So this is gonna get you started and uh, after you need to fill this information. So if you are a student and if you are over 13, you are eligible for uh, for the prizes, so for, for the contest. If not, you can still uh, go and use the learning system and learn a lot here. So let's take on the email here, the number to validate my account. So let's refresh that, it's loading. And there we go. So here we have uh, the number for the registration. So let me just copy this code to activate my account. Let's return to our page sign. Okay, there we go. And there is it. So now it should redirect me to the master domain frame. And let's get it started and see what expect us here. So let's proceed. Uh, I agree with the terms from IBM ID. There we go. Let's see now. And when you are here on this first screen, 
The challenges they will be appearing as you progress. So you click on them and you can access, read, fill out, uh, do whatever is needed to do on this challenge. So the first ones that we're gonna see, uh, they are mostly completing your registration. Uh, there are some kind of overview about the platform. Complete the challenges uh, to get the points, the rewards for each of the challenges. Also, while you are here on the level one, there are a lot of videos uh, giving a better understand about you, what you can wait uh, or what you can expect about this year's Master the Mainframe. And uh, right on the first second challenge, you're gonna see the importance of the platform. So some uh, some customers talking about it and how to how also uh, Jeff gives a great overview about virtualization, how we take the best about uh, about our Z platform using virtualization. So here you're gonna really understand the concepts about this. And now now it's time for fun. So on the VSC challenge, you're gonna get your credentials, so your ID and password to login on the mainframe. So save that uh, where you need. Also, anytime you want to get that again and to get that again and remember your password or your user ID, you can just return there. You can also through the help change your password. So click on IG and password tools, reset your password. So this is like a challenge. When you go there and click to complete to reset my password that will complete the challenge and this will trigger a process that reset your password so uh when you go back and look to the vsc challenge you're gonna see that uh, the password here it has changed so this is uh, one way to get your password again but also under the help you can uh, just go there click again on id and password tools and you're gonna see that you can also view this through this link and this will show also the VSC challenge on this model form. Okay, so now uh, we are going to see what we need uh, for master the mainframe. So here there are some instructions for you about VS code. So the requirements so you can check here uh, what you need to run the VS code. It runs on uh, any operating system so Linux, Mac, Windows there is also this video explaining everything about how you set your connection but let's take a look now uh, let me take note of this and let's take a deep look now on the VS code so let's see what we have here before we go there uh, I will complete that so okay I think this should be a all the introduction that we have yeah here we have a congrats message so that we complete level one so note that the vsc challenge will be always here for you to check your password so let's go to vs code right now the best thing about vs code is that it's extremely uh, customizable so you can change for example the colors the theme that you want to use on your vs code so there are a lot and you can just search on the extensions for that for now, I will stick here to demonstrate how you should get your VS Code, so on the default dark. Right, so to customize that, to add these functions, we use come here to the extensions. And as you as you get more and more extensions installed, it also has a recommended extensions for you. And to look here, just look for Zoe. You're gonna just need to click them and install. And that's it, Zoe is installed on my machine. There are some information here that you can use. Uh, there are other extensions. So when you add this, it adds this on the activity bar and you can uh, add profiles here. You can add profiles for multiple systems for multiple users. So just click here and add a name for your uh, for your profile. Add the, the address that we are using. This address that we are using is the ZOSMF address. So it's a component that's running on the ZOS and here we have the port 10443 for that. Add your user ID that you got uh, on the platform and your password. Next thing, choose false here. This is uh, for uh, self-signed certificates. We should, we should accept that for this contest. There we go. Now you can come here, search, just to test if your profile is, is working fine. Just type your ID. It will look on the mainframe for everything that starts with your ID 
and you can access your files here so let's wait and there we go so this brings everything that's in the mainframe with our id uh, also let me add here this demo profile for both for unix and for the jobs that's it perfect okay so now let's take a look on what is available and how can we take the most of the vs code right so if you close any window that you have here open any file anything uh, like the, the updates for your VS Code or anything, you should get this screen. On this on this screen, you have here show all comments, go to files, sign, find files. So there are some tips about shortcuts and there are a lot of shortcuts. This is cool because, for example, see my mouse here? If I press here command B, it just open and close my uh, this bar here and gives me more space. I can, for example, with command shift, uh, ex Explorer, so I have here the folder that I have open on my file, but I can also use this to command shift D, command D, and get here to the data set. So if I type something, it also let me navigate without come here with the mouse. So this helped me a bit. So command shift X to go back. Uh, to the marketplace where I can just come here and look for uh, some other extensions so let me go back to Zoe uh, so the shortcuts they facilitate a lot of life stuff here so it's, it's good if you can just get started with them and if you come here and the first option uh, and I'm using a Mac right so when I'm saying comment here you probably will have on Linux and Windows the control instead so command shift P and I can just type any comments. So if you press command shift P and type for shortcuts, uh, sh shortcuts, you have here open keyboard shortcuts and you can take a look on every option, every shortcut that you have for VS Code. And you can also, uh, for example, search here, for example, Zoe, right? So this show all the comments that have for Zoe. Uh, and you can see here that I have some shortcuts for something that I use here on Zoe. So for example, to focus on datasets view, to focus on jobs view, uh, to issue MVS columns. There are other here that you can just customize it. And how do you customize that? If you click on any of them, uh, it, then you just need to press something. And that will help you. That will uh, record what you are typing and will save that for you. You can also uh, customize that uh, in the JSON manner. So there is this link, and here I have some comments that I use. So like on ISPF, right? When you have uh, the function keys, I have here, for example, command uh, command F1, and that brings to me the Zoe command with the file that I have open. So, so I can submit the file of the JCL that I just uh, working here. You're gonna see more about Zoe on the level tree. So this is just uh an example about the key binding so when we are taught uh, when we are, have these data sets here and i will just uh press space here just to don't close that don't just to don't close this view uh i let's let's say that i can just take this middle column to cut that so if i press here shift and out and then just push here uh the mouse i can just select this column and press command x you see so this is something that can, that can be used for just uh, not just to cut but to paste because if you come with the same number of lines that you have selected you can just put that paste that on the right place and let's suppose that I have to add a, a semicolon here if I just uh, select this and then I press out and I can just come here and start typing so I have a semicolon right after the word so these are some, ah, I just want to go to the end, so I use the command here, and probably for you this will be the control. So this is, this is a sample, so you can just start, start typing on multiple lines at the same time. And other thing, if I select a word here, and I want to select all the other words, I can just command shift L, and then all is selected, right? So this is also something that can also be useful. Sometimes you may be working on uh, USS 
and you may have some file there that's a ASCII and the VS Code is thinking it's a binary and there is an option here I will just use this as an example uh, it's not a binary but if I right click here I can toggle binary and then it will change uh, the encoding uh, in this case it, it's not it doesn't matter for me because it's not uh, a binary file there it was read by a file that was created on the VS Code on the ZOS so this is just a sample oh you can also uh, do something that can be useful if you click here and just uh, drag that you can have the files open side by side so if you are working with a JCL here you can also have uh, something as sample on the other side so that will be useful for you so uh, these are just some tips that you can use and not just side by side but for example if I come here with this I can just put here the top and then split this in three screens uh, also this will be very good for in the future I can toggle my terminal here pressing control and you should check uh, what is your uh, shortcut for that but if you want to find that come on shift and put here the shortcut look for terminal and then you have here uh, your shortcuts for terminals and to f let me find here so there are a lot you can just come here and ah you can also split the terminal here so you can have both well, for example one session is connected on the SS8 the other is local so you can run commands on both sides so everything from just one screen so this is uh, something that may have be helpful also uh, VS Code is very powerful there are a lot of extensions you're gonna see here uh, that you're gonna be working with docker on the final challenges and there are you can just come here and find things that will be useful for you so extensions for work to, for highlight JCL for highlight Kobo highlight Rex all this kind of stuff so this is just an overview about things that you can do here and oh there is something that may be useful too let's take here the JCL that I have for test and for example if I right click here and I just click submit job if you have the profile on all the uh, all this uh, IRS dataset USS jobs you can just come here and click on this link and we'll, we'll show you the job so it will point you to the right output here on the jobs area so it's still active so I don't have nothing to open so this is uh, something really cool and that's it that's done so you can just come here and open that uh, I can split also here another screen and to close that you can just command command w Whoa, and I close my just so and that's it and you probably will be seeing myself on the next uh, on the next video that I plan to, to release on next week so I will try to do uh, one video talking just about JCL, or one video just about the data sets, and another for uh, VS Code. So for each of the group of challenges that we have here, I will be just explaining more concepts. So feel free to comment uh, what you would like to see here uh, on the next videos, and please subscribe to the channel to, to be updated and get new videos about new text that are just coming to the mainframe. And have a nice master the mainframe.